Hello everybody, what's going on? Jerome here from Awesome Sauce Films, and today I have for you my first video for Games Are Games, besides my Halo Reach introduction video, and this one's going to be on the Gears of War 3 beta. It's a chainsaw-only gameplay, or lancer-only, I should say, because basically, what I like doing in Games Are Games is I like finding different things to do that are just fun in video games that might not be initially the whole, like, point of the game, and just trying to find creative ways to play a game to add some more fun to it. So I figured I'd present to you Lancer only or Chainsaw only gameplay. Now the rules are simple, you can only use the chainsaw except in two circumstances. The first is if the enemy leader, if you're playing Capture the Leader, is coming near you because the fact is, is you can't chainsaw him, so it'd be a little unfair if he can kill you and you can't kill him. And the only other circumstance is if you are the enemy leader. Uh, so basically what I mean is, if you're the, en I'm sorry, if not the, if you're the enemy leader, if you are the leader for your team, then obviously you shouldn't have to use the chainsaw because it's kind of impossible to fight off enemy hordes, although it is a lot of fun. But regardless of any of those rules, you always have to be using the lancer. Like right here, I was trying to shoot at the enemy leader. That's allowed because, I mean, you know, you can't chainsaw the enemy leader. So anyway, now that we got the ground rules down, uh, the gameplay is pretty good. I actually end up going, I believe, four and one with one down. Maybe it's five and one. I don't know. I'll have to see at the end of the gameplay. And I already start off with quite a few good uh, chainsaws. And uh, kind of funny, the way me and my friends came up with this is we were bored one day in Gears of War 2, and we were playing a lot of Guardian because uh, Guardian was our favorite game mode back then. And we just decided that it'd be funny to just go on. I don't know if you remember the map Blood Drive, but if we all just revved our chainsaws up and walked down the middle of the map towards all of the enemies just to see what would actually happen if we just walk straight in a straight line well needless to say we all got cut down but then it kind of got us thinking about uh, the whole like chainsawing thing and we just kind of developed into this whole kind of fun new system or fun new way to play the game and I really enjoy it myself I mean I don't know I think you all should give it a try and uh, a couple of cool little tips or things like that that might add to the fun that you're having is uh, try and hide behind corners and things. Not camp, but try and hide behind corners and look around. Uh, and, you know, just see uh, how everything's going. And then you can kind of tell if someone's turning around the corner, you could chainsaw them, sneak up on them. And just a lot, a lot of fun. The only thing is, just like this video probably will, there's a lot of haters against the chainsaw and the lancer. And I understand that. It's a pretty cheap gun. But, I mean, I just kind of use it all in good fun. I don't use it because I think I'm good. I don't use it because I'm not saying I am good. All I'm saying, though, is I do it because I have fun with it, whether or not I'm good. And I don't know. I mean, I kind of figure maybe you all could have some fun with it, too, because it really just... I don't know, it adds something to the game that you can't find anywhere else. I just, I don't know, maybe just adds a little creativity to it. And perhaps you guys have game modes of your own. One thing I like doing is one-shot only shotguns. I'm probably going to upload a video of that soon. And it's actually harder than it looks. A lot of people just use it strategically. But the thing is, is that it's a very difficult weapon to use simply because it's you have to get so close to the guy that it almost never happens. And right here, I become the leader. And this is when I start saying that I'm allowed to shoot and things like that and I start using a hiding tactic. Not so much hiding, but I try and stay a little bit back. I hope you all understand that because I'm the enemy leader. I kind of have some team objective responsibility in this, so I mean that's another thing. I, I, I don't want you guys to go out of your way to ruin the game for your teammates and things. I want you to keep in mind that there are responsibilities that come along with it. Like, don't just blow the game because you're having fun. You know, have fun, but be respectful of other players, and that's what I do. You know, when I'm the, the leader, I play the game the way it's supposed to be played, you know, w within reason. I mean, I do only use the chainsaw gun or lancer gun, but you get the point, you know, just be respectful while you're doing it and have a good time, and just so you know you probably will, as I said before, get a lot of hate mail, in fact, me and my friends used to get a piece of hate mail once every about, I would average three hours of playing Gears 2 so it does happen a lot, but I guarantee you, if you give this mode a try, you're going to have a great time, so anyway guys, thank you all for watching, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and if you have any other suggestions for types of games or game modes that you, I can play, then please send them over to my YouTube channel, Awesome Sauce Films, thanks a lot for watching, and please be sure to support the games our games revolution just put as your clan tag GAG go out and have a good time and maybe film if you're fortunate enough to have a capture card thank you all and good night